Well, I think uh, what hopefully every coach is saying at this point right now is that we're just thrilled to be uh, having a game on Sunday on Saturday. Sorry. Um, it's obviously different circumstances being indoors at Rockford. Um, and I would personally like to thank the medical staff, the support staff, the administration here at Wisconsin for, you know, working to make all of this happen. Obviously, people ask how you're going to play soccer when it's negative 11 today. Um, however, I think we found a really good plan. And I know the players and myself, my staff are just thrilled to be back on the field um, and having great competition against the Big Ten. So uh, excited to start our season off with Iowa. We had some offseason excitement, um, you know, with Victoria Pickett being drafted in the NWSL and now being called into the Canadian national team. Um, we we're obviously sad to see her go, um, but uh, she had finished her master's um, uh, degree and had gone on there. And so we are thrilled for her and excited for her. Um, to, to do that. So we will look a little bit different. Uh, and we've had faced some challenges uh, in terms of training uh, because of the weather and everything that. But uh, again, we are just thrilled and excited and, and grateful for the opportunity that we're going to have on Saturday. Uh, Alec had a question. Hi, Paula. Uh, no doubt excitement to, to, to get a season in, but is it still, I mean, you know, a Big Ten only spring soccer season, is that still kind of a weird concept uh to, to to wrap your head around going into this um at first you know we've had players conversations with the players that you know it, it's so different and so shortened and uh, you know the environment and how we've had preseason everything like that but we came down to three things we can still win a big 10 championship we can still win a big 10 championship tournament and we can win an ncaa and get in the ncaa's so um as of right now uh, it's amazing because it's it's basically six days away that all these things are going to start. So even though there's all these different uh, challenges that we have and and differences of this season, we still have three things that we can play for. So it's very exciting. And, and like I said, we have some amazing talent returning with Maya and Cami Murtha and um, Jordan Bloomer. And I can, I can keep going down the list, Claire, Claire Shea um, and some young talent coming in that we're really excited about. So um, it is different but it's, uh, it's exciting. Additional questions for Coach Wilkins. Coach, can you speak to how you may have um, adapted training because you will be inside and, and what that might mean for the players and what they're considering? Uh, I think one of the challenges we have here is our facility isn't the size of a soccer field. So uh, we've had to do some extra running, some different things to kind of modify and prepare ourselves for uh, playing on a bigger field. Um, so I think that's uh, one of the interesting things. Turf plays a little bit differently than grass, um, but we were training on it. So, uh, you know, we, when we talk to the team about all these different challenges, we say that other teams in the Big Ten are facing those same challenges. You know, I, I think, or I might not, I might be wrong that I will be training inside. I think they're having a cold snap as, it, as we are too. So, um, I, I think that, that we're all facing those same challenges. So I think the teams that are more prepared, um, that are, are focused on the little details will be successful. And that's one of the things that we've been kind of hanging our hat on. Sure, we've got a question from AJ. Hey coach, um, you talked about the incoming uh, freshman class a little bit. Uh, what can you say about you know, those freshmen now that you've seen them you know, for a couple weeks and months now? Well, I think the exciting part about them is that usually when we have freshmen come in, they have about 14 days until they play their first game. Now we've had them a little bit longer. And I have to tell you that I am very pleased with their development over the last uh, couple of months. You know, we, they've really kind of bought into understanding our system, um, understanding our culture. Um, the, the group of them, there's eight of them, they love soccer. You see them staying afterwards. It's very contagious. They, they play on their off times. And I think that's just an exciting thing for me to see as a coach in itself, because when you have players that just love the sport and want to get better, um, you know, they're watching film constantly to know how to get better. Uh, they are, they're impacting our program, even in training because of the level that they bring. Um, and, you know, I think we'll be starting possibly two freshmen um, this upcoming Saturday, and I'm excited for that to see what they can do. Um, and having said that, there are other ones that are following, they're close behind with, you know, possibly getting some good playing time.